So there's Colby Allard, who's had a pretty good run recently in the Phillies farm system. He's overall two and seven with a 5.60 earned run average. You kind of have to slide away some of his uh, his first the first part of the year outings. We got a sign that's gotten loose in the field. It might be a birthday sign for somebody. Nick's taking care of it. Making plays even when the ball's not 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 yeah. hit. Yeah. Tough to get that one back up into the first row in right field though. That would, well. Be a little have, wind, a little light. He would have to jump pretty high. Line drive off the glove of Harper and trickles into right field. And that'll be a base hit for Quan. Bryce will be a little frustrated with himself that he didn't grab that one. Yeah, I agree. Uh, he probably would catch that 99 times out of 100. I always believe that the ball touches your glove, you should catch it, John. <laughs> Here's <No>. Martinez. <laughs> well, I don't know. You want a bunch of gold gloves. I, I ain't got nothing on my shelf. Flared. Shallow left going out the shortstop. Turner couldn't get there. It drops for a hit, and the Guardians have their first two aboard. It's a little good fortune smiling on Cleveland early today. Two balls that could have been outs, but they both found their way for fast, hits. Fastball that got inside a Martinez. He didn't hit it hard at all, but Turner going back on the shortstop couldn't get to it. That'll fall as a base hit, so they've got the table set right now in the first. First and second occupied nobody out no score in the first and the one thing Cleveland has not been doing lately is getting big hits when they've had opportunities to score runs popped up. I don't help. Oh, that's a big yes, deal. Right there. Sosa shading his eyes from the sun. Oh he dropped it. Infield fly rule was called though so the batters automatically out. The runners advance only if they choose to and they didn't. Might want to put some sunglasses on there, right? He's looking straight up in the sun. Goes, oh, I can't see. It's a bad feeling, isn't it? It is when you drop one yeah. and don't have sunglasses on. Yeah, it's kind of like a powdered sugar sky. You know, it's a, it's not deep blue at all. Fry, 35 RBIs. He's three for six in the series, hitting over 300 against left-handed pitching. Rolls that one to third. Bowman's got it to second for one. Sosa's throw to first in time. Yes, sir. And around the horn, 5 4 3 double play. Good job by Sosa to hang in on the turn as the throw was to the outfield side. He had to reach for it to take it, and he is able to turn the 5 4 3 double play. Well, Joey Cantillo will be the starting pitcher for the Guardians today, your Chevy Network dealer's starting pitcher. And um, welcome to the big leagues. You're coming into a nice ballpark. Getting your first opportunity against the Phils. He does, doesn't have a whole lot of innings so far this year. Got hurt coming out of spring training with a hamstring strain. The key for him throwing strikes. He has had that issue in the minor leagues and in particular this year with Triple A Columbus. That guy though will lead things off. It's Kyle Schwarber. There's a lefty on the mound, and those are his left-handed uh, or his numbers against left-handers. Really incredible. Fly ball, left center field, well hit. Martinez going back toward the wall. It's gone! Kyle Schwarber does it again. Ninth leadoff home run of the season. He's homered in back to back games. One nothing, Phillies. I'll tell you, he get everybody thinking center of the field. No stopping this team offensively. Absolutely, Michael. And this is this is why he's hitting over 330 against left-handed pitchers is because he can go the other way. Seems like he's making more of a conscious effort this year to do that. Here's Trey Turner, the right-handed hitting shortstop. Swing and a ground ball to third. Ramirez bobbles and drops it, and Turner's aboard. And for what it's worth, the Phillies. That'll be an E5 on Ramirez. And certainly not what the rookie pitcher needs at this moment. This club smells blood in the water. Look out. They're like a shark. They will devour you if they sense any kind of a weakness. A swing and a miss. Got him on the slider away. So Cantillo strikes out Bryce Harper. How about your first major league strikeout is Bryce Harper. A runner at first, one out in the first. Here's Alec Bohm. A swing and a double play ball to short. Sliding stop. Rocchio backhand to grab the second one. Relay by Jimenez, not in time. Watch this play again. Rocchio kind of got turned around with the sliding stop, and then Jimenez. He did it so nonchalant. 
Probably didn't feel like he had a chance, but as he turned around, he said, well, let's, let's see what happens. So two down, and Nick Castellanos to the plate. Castellanos bangs it up the middle behind second. The second baseman has it. Jimenez throws across the body to get Castellanos. Well, a heck of a job by the kid. Here's Brian Rocchio, the shortstop. Rocchio batting 207 on the year with three home runs for the Guardians. Ground ball left side, diving stop, Bohm gets up, fires to second, and he got him. I'll tell you what, folks, Bohm is 6'5". He's a third baseman, but he moves like a little guy. And he took a hit away from Brian Rocchio. I think Jimenez is a little upset with himself. It looked like he got there with a dive. Obviously, it had been a tremendous play to make it, but couldn't come up with it. He kind of slams the ground thinking he should have had it. Well, that'll bring up Kyle Schwarber. Kyle's starting to get red hot again after an 0 for 19 during that road trip to Pittsburgh and Minnesota. He's and a line drive out to right field. That's well hit. Noel's going back. It's gone. Second home run as many at bats. A two run shot. And he's like June hot today. And the Phillies lead it 3 0 thanks to Kyle Schwarber on the day they're giving out the Schwarbaum Towns. That's a good point. Oh, beautiful. It looked like a little bit of an off speed pitch. Just tried to drill it and it got enough height on it. Boom. That's a great look, isn't it? Well, he knew it. He knows when he has it. And the Guardians now have runners at first and second, a pair of infield singles. And we'll see if they can do something with it now. Base runners with nobody out. And John Kenzie Noel will step in. He got High it. drive, deep center field, way back. Marsh looking up, and it is gone to Souvenir City. Big Christmas indeed delivers. Spreading holiday cheer throughout Citizens Bank Park, and we are all tied at three. That's exactly what they needed. Forget those singles, they needed a, a dinger. And the timing was perfect. That is number six for John Kenzie, and he ties the ball game up with one swing. Gregory Soto will take over for the Phillies here in the top of the fifth. Bo Naylor up. Down ball towards short. Diving stop by Turner. Throws just in time. What a play. Ooh. He was aerodynamic like one of those swimmers making that play. We've had a couple of these that haven't been executed yet. Diving for ball, knocking it down. But well, he got up on his feet quick, didn't he, Michael? He did. Uh, kind of washed it into the glove. He caught it in the pocket this time. He knew he had to hurry. That old baseball time clock, you know, you can feel it. Here's Stephen Kwan with two outs and nobody on a 3-3 game. Sends one deep to right. Down the line. Gone. And the Guardians take the lead. A laser to right by Stephen Kwan. His career high 11th home run as he flies around the bases. And the Guardians have their first lead since Friday night. 4-3 to three Cleveland. All of the runs today for both clubs have come via the long ball. One down here is Bryce Harper. 0 for 2 of the walk. And the home run last night. Otherwise, he's been hitless. 1 for 10 this weekend. I don't, know. I don't know if something's wrong with Harper. He just doesn't look right. He looked the same. Just missed that. I know, I, I'm pretty sure he'd like to have that pitch over. Yeah. He just missed it. Noel out in right field. He's under it. Got it toward the end of the bat. And there are two outs. I don't think Harp's too happy right now. No. No. It's frustration, and anyone who's ever played this game has had that. Had it, absolutely. Jose checks. Did he go? Nope. Pitch down and in. Draws the leadoff walk. Jose Ramirez one for three today with a base hit and a walk. Runner goes. Two strike pitch is low. Throw it out. Not in time. That's a perfect pitch to steal on. Jose has his 20th stolen base of the year. He Why so, it. Rick? He got a breaking ball, and it was on the backhanded side of the catcher where Stubbs couldn't come up and make a good throw. Had a nice jump. He did a good job to get it there. It's just that Jose had that opportunity. He picked the right pitch, that breaking ball. So there Sixth you go. Sixth time he's had 20 homers and 20 steals in the season. Well, a nail biter. Yesterday wasn't a great game. For Cleveland, for Philly, it was a great game because their yeah, offense exploded. They got going, but it counts as one loss, as Stephen Kwan right. put it. Not necessarily in those words, but it only counts as one loss. You come back, you have a chance to win the series, and they're one out away from doing just that. There we grab ball, hit the short. Rokio's throw. Book it. The Guardians come to Philly and take down the best team in baseball, winning two out of three. 